Hey, what's going on guys? Vanoss here back again and welcome to part two of how to do well with the shotgun in Modern Warfare 3. And if you guys missed part one, you could click the annotation on the screen now. Uh, but basically what I did in part one is I talked about all the different shotguns, gave you my opinion and recommended a few of them, mainly the USAS 12 and the SPAS 12. But today I'm going to talk about the proficiencies, the perks, and the killstreak setups that I like to use with all these shotguns, excluding the A12. Like I said in the first episode, if you watched it, I'm going to have one video dedicated to the A12. So this class setup is for all the rest of the shotguns besides the A12. And I'm not just going to tell you guys what perks to use and what killstreaks to use. I'm also going to explain why I decided to make these choices. And I know for some of you guys this information might be really obvious, uh, but that's what Vanoss Gaming is all about. I like to break things down, bring it to you guys in its purest form, and just give you guys the theory behind it. So just bear with me. But if you guys are really impatient, I'm going to show you guys the class setup right now so you guys can pause the video if you don't want to listen to the rest of this commentary and set it up yourself. But hopefully most of you guys will be able to stick around and you know listen to the explanation of why I made these choices. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it and start off with the proficiencies. And this is probably the most obvious thing because I'm sure you guys know that damage is the best and most effective proficiency to use with the shotguns. It is the last one you unlock, so it's going to take a while to get it. But in the meantime, when you're trying to unlock damage, you're going to want to start off with kick because that's going to reduce your recoil. It doesn't really do much for a shotgun, uh, but it's just worth putting on because you really don't have anything else in the beginning. Then once you unlock focus, you want to switch to that because that's going to reduce your flinch or your view kick when you get shot. And that actually helps you because when you get shot, it's hard to aim. And that proficiency is going to give you that split second advantage where you're still able to be on target without your view being kicked upwards. And then when you unlock range, you're going to want to use that because that's obviously going to let you hit your enemies from longer distances. Uh, but it doesn't increase your damage, so you're going to get a lot of hit markers, which is not what you want. So once you get to the damage proficiency, you're going to want to use that instead of range uh, because that's going to give you a lot more consistent shots, a lot more one-shot kills, which is exactly what you look for in a shotgun. And when it comes to attachments, you should definitely use extended mags for obvious reasons. You could hold a lot more shells with that. But since you unlock that last, you should be using grip until you get to that point. And I'm sure most of you guys do this, but I just thought I'd mention it just in case. Alright, so now let's move on to the first tier perk slot. And what you're going to want to use is sleight of hand. And this is for obvious reasons. I mean, shotguns reload pretty slowly. And a lot of them, you have to reload one shell at a time. So this helps a lot. And plus, you're going to be near the enemy a lot, you know, in their spawn, things like that. And things are going to happen really fast. You're going to want to be able to reload really quickly and get into your next gunfight without hesitation. And a lot of people are probably thinking you want to use marathon instead of sleight of hand because with a shotgun, you know, you think you have to run and gun, run to the enemy spawn. Uh, but I could tell you guys that is not true because it's more important to reload faster. Plus, you don't really have to run a lot with a shotgun. Uh, I know it sounds kind of weird, but with a shotgun, you're actually a lot more effective when you're walking. And I found a lot of the time when I first started using a shotgun, I died a lot from sprinting. You know, I'll be sprinting, then all of a sudden I see an enemy and I don't have enough time to react or put my gun back down. So if you're walking, your gun is already set to go and ready to fire, and you're a lot more prepared to get into a gunfight. And one thing I want you guys to do is try to use a shotgun without sprinting at all during an entire match. And you'll be surprised of how well you'll do. I mean, you're not going to do amazing because you do have to sprint in certain situations. But if you just tell yourself you're not going to sprint at all during a match, you'll be surprised of how many gunfights you'll be set for. And I did this myself. I tried it on Village, a really big map. And I ended up getting like over 30 kills and a 3 kill death ratio. So pretty decent on a huge map like that. So I challenge you guys to do this for at least one game. But anyways, going back to the perks, Marathon is definitely not necessary, especially with these small maps. It's not that hard to move around the maps properly without having to sprint for long distances. So I'm going to teach you guys that when I break down, you know, how to move across certain maps. Uh, but that will be in the later episode. So now let's move on to perk number two. And this is going to be Assassin, unfortunately, because I know a lot of people don't like this perk. But it's so important to use Assassin when you're using a shotgun because the element of surprise is imperative. You want to be unpredictable and put yourself in an advantageous situation so you can surprise the enemy and make it so that you're in a position where you have the advantage over their assault rifle or their submachine gun or their sniper rifle. Because if they knew where you were on the map, they would be able to put themselves in a position where they could take you out at a long distance where you have no chance at all. 
So that's why Assassin is the most important perk to use in the tier 2 slot. So now let's move on to the third tier perk slot and this is either going to be Set Rep Pro or Steady Aim Pro. And this is going to depend on whether or not you have a really good sound system or a gaming headset. Because if you have either of the two, you're going to want to use Sit Rep Pro because this is going to allow you to hear the enemy's footsteps better and make your footsteps and your teammates' footsteps quieter. And I'm sure a lot of you guys who already have a gaming headset and already sound horror like to use Dead Silence, but I'm telling you guys, you are foolish if you're using Dead Silence instead of Sit Rep Pro uh, because Dead Silence doesn't make your teammates' footsteps any quieter or make the enemy's footsteps louder, so it's hard to tell the difference between the two and it could really screw you up. So unless you're playing Search and Destroy, I highly suggest you guys use Sit Rep Pro instead. And if you don't have a gaming headset or a really good sound system, use Steady Aim Pro instead because this will allow you to have a tighter hip spread, which is what you want for a shotgun. And of course the pro version of this perk lets you have your gun set a lot quicker after sprinting, so this is going to help you a lot, especially because you're using a shotgun and you're shooting from the hip a lot. But now I'm going to move on to the kill streaks, and I'm going to be using the specialist bonus package, so you're going to end up unlocking all these perks anyways. But if you're using Sit Rep Pro to begin with, what I like to unlock in the specialist package in order is Steady Aim, Dead Silence, and Hardline Pro. So unlocking Steady Aim is for obvious reasons, I already explained why it's important. And then Dead Silence is good to have on top of Sit Rep Pro, because that way you're silent as well as being able to hear the enemy's footsteps really well. But like I said before, Sit Rep Pro is a lot more important than Dead Silence, which is why I start off with it. And lastly, I like to unlock Hardline, so that way it takes one last kill to get to my specialist bonus. Uh, so I get all the perks at 7 kills instead of 8. And one thing you guys should know is that once you unlock your specialist bonus at 8 kills or 7 kills if you're using Hardline, you actually get every single proficiency except for damage and of course attachments. So that's another reason why you should always start off with a damage proficiency because you're going to unlock range eventually anyways once you get to your specialist bonus. But anyways, moving back to the killstreak setup, if you're going to start off by using Steady Aim Pro because you don't have a gaming headset, I still suggest you guys unlock Sit Rep Pro at 2 kills because it's still really useful to see the enemy equipment and when you're using a shotgun you'll be clearing out a lot of buildings and that way you can see their claymores, their bouncing beddies, or even their tack inserts. So that's really useful because you can either deny it or you can get a free kill out of it. And a lot of times I find boosters this way, so either way if you have a gaming headset I still suggest you guys use this perk. But anyways guys, that's about it for the class setup for my shotguns, and of course the secondaries and the equipment doesn't really matter, it's completely up to you. I personally like using the dual scorpions, semtex, and stun grenades, but I switch it up every now and then. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up if you did, and hopefully you stuck around to the end because I know a lot of this was basic information. But the next episode will go over a lot more different stuff and I'm going to talk about how to increase your accuracy, uh, talk about the sensitivity that you should be using, and a couple of my strategies that I have while using a shotgun on certain maps. So make sure you guys keep checking my channel because I'll be trying to get that out for you as soon as possible. Uh, but anyways guys, have a great day, stay classy, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Alright guys, so if you want to check out some of these other videos, on the left I have an epic Modern Warfare 3 spawn fail. Uh, it's a really funny video, it's really short, and I put some Peter Griffin sound effects and made it really funny. So go check that one out if you have 2 minutes, and on the right I have a video talking about the latest DLC for Modern Warfare 3 coming out this March. And in that video I also talk about how you guys could play with me on Xbox Live, so go check that one out too. And uh, make sure you subscribe if you want to see some more videos like this, and please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, the links will be in the description, and I'll see you guys later.